All right now, what's up world? It's your boy, you know what I'm saying? Sitting up here chilling, you know what I'm saying? Writing, you know what I'm saying? You know, man, I got an interesting topic. It really ain't no topic or nothing, but you know, I'm sitting up here, you know, reading the word, you know what I'm saying? And writing the word, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm, you know, listening to different people. And then, you know, I'm sitting up here in my own mind now. In my own mind. And I know the things that I, uh, the people I listen to, you know, are reading my stuff that I got wrote, you know, on, you know, my email. Because, you know, pretty much they tell me that they reading what I'm writing. Because we all telepathically, you know, that's the security, you know, of heaven, you know what I'm saying? Really, you know, the love of God is our security. The love of God is being one love, you know what I'm saying? One love, that's what God is. One love. God is love, that's all he is. One love. And everybody who are gods, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's an S there, or a Z, and we still one love. Without the S, without the E. Heaven, heaven. But then we got y'all as heavens, because we all heavens. We are people that supposed to let you have everything freely. You know what I'm saying? You inherit everything freely when you live in heaven. And you make it to heaven. You inherit all things. There ain't no such thing as spending millions of dollars or thousands of dollars or a hundred dollars or not having no money to get your food and cars and clothes and houses and shit. Because you just inherit those things. But you got them liars all that came before us. You know, there was thieves and robbers, you know what I'm saying? Lying on how they got here. You know, you know, man, when I came and I said, he ain't never been up here with us, you know what I'm saying? At first, you know, as Adam, you know, I looked at Hankins, and man, I stood there and tears came to my eyes because that was the first time I realized I was something. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I was a welder, and I was a good welder, too. You know what I'm saying? Teaching people how to weld, and, you know, doing it, my job, and, you know, but, you know, I knew that was going to happen, too. You know, it was like it was a setup, you know what I'm saying, in 2009, you know what I'm saying? I had did a lot of things from 1996 to 2009, but, you know, I really wouldn't, you know, you know, let me fix this, man. Shit. Well, man. Well, man, Dad. Yeah. But like I say, you know what I'm saying? I had a. Uh, you know, so, you know, I was doing a lot of stuff, you know, because, you know, I, I passed away, you know, 96. I knew it, but then, you know, it kind of looked like I didn't, but I really did, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew I wasn't supposed to be alive, you know what I'm saying? I knew what I went through, I wasn't supposed to be at no safe car. I know the man that died with me, you know, yeah, they said he died and everything, but then the doctor said, don't be telling nobody no rumors, he'll say, <clears throat> not the doctor, but the uh, safety man came in warning me not to lie to nobody, I don't tell nobody no rumors that Kent did, and I'm like, man, the man just told me he died, or oh, the doctor just going by hearsay, so he let me know that Kent wasn't really dead. So, you know, I wasn't really dead either, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, I thought I was, you know, I thought he was. So, you know, it kind of tricked me, you know what I'm saying? They should have went and told me, man, you know, you, you died last night. But they couldn't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, Dow knew they could mess over me, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, like this title right here, you know what I'm saying? See, everybody know my story because they watched the movie. The movie been playing for forever, ever since. Shit, they start, you know, watching me as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like that man and that woman came to my grandmother and grandfather's house looking for him. I was about eight, nine years old, you know what I'm saying? You know, when didn't think they was no threat or nothing. I didn't think they were going to do nothing wrong at all. So they were looking for him. I said, they not here, you know what I'm saying? They said, well, we, can we sit on the couch and wait for him? I was like, yeah, you know, welcome to it. I'll be across the street over there if y'all need some. You know, I went back to Steve in them houses, you know, Patrick and Joe in them houses, you know, Robert house, Franklin's, you know what I'm saying? I went over to Miss Raby's house, so, you know, I was over there. And then my grandmother came home, called me on the phone at Steve in them house, 
and asked me what happened to the TV. I came on. The TV had a big ass hole in it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I should have caught on then that TV was filming us. You know what I'm saying? But that's, 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 that was part of it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people didn't know what all that stuff. And when I read titles like this, keep it to yourself. I I think of a jealous person. You know what I'm saying? I don't think of somebody. You know what I'm saying? Worried about you. I think of somebody that's jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like this woman say, yeah, I, I didn't want to watch it, but I, I clicked on it just to see. And she did also say, you know, some people don't want you to get what you're going to get and this and that. But for me, you know, I, I think of it a little different, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, you know, that, man, we don't do the thing we do. Well, let me let me get into it. Let me get into it. Let me, let me see how it goes. I don't want to do it. Hi, my love. Welcome back to the Star channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is for your business. The scripture comes from Ezekiel 7 and 15. Outside is the sword, inside are plague and famine. Those in the country will die by the sword. Those in the city will be devoured by famine and plague. Ooh. So I feel like, here's the message. Um, for somebody, I just feel like it's a situation where you are, you are being led to keep something quiet. Like, don't tell your business. Like, and there, there may be a situation where there are, um, where either someone is trying to poke at you, or they're trying to find it out. Regardless to if this is someone that may be asking you a bunch of questions, or if this is someone that is trying to poke around and like, you know, like move around. You know, like how some people will, uh, they'll stalk and harass, like they'll go through your social media, and you know, some people know how to hack into computers, and they know how to hack through emails and messages, text messages and stuff like that. There are some people that will go for your stuff. I just feel like God is saying that this is a situation where keep your business to yourself. Because See, the reason I want to look at this, and you know, I have a problem with different people, you know, different preachers and different people, you know what I'm saying? And I said to myself, you know, I'm up here writing now, you know, about a certain preacher, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the situation, you know, that I went through my testimony. And I said to myself, you know, when I pushed the button to start her up, you know what I'm saying? I said, the reason I'm going to watch this, I said, it's because, you know, I'm going to see what he would be thinking about. You know what I'm saying? What would he, why would he say keep it to yourself? Because he don't want to probably tell me to keep it to myself. Him and anybody else like Dow Chemical that came against God and the children of God, you know what I'm saying? You know, people like that really don't want the world to know they really the devil. You know what I'm saying? Or Satan. You know what I'm saying? I ain't calling this lady nothing wrong with her because I look at her face, I see this girl that I grew up with. I ain't gonna say no name, but I see her all in her. <laughs> like her name should. She looks just like she. You know what I'm saying? But then uh 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 you know, I said to myself, I wonder what if 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 TDJ were preaching this sermon and had gave that a title, what would he do? Why would he have me keep it to myself? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I know what I'm writing about. But, you know, the reason I keep secrets, man, I keep secrets because the only time I think you should keep secrets and not share your testimony is when it can really harm somebody or a child or, you know, a grown-up or put somebody in jail. You know, I don't think people need to be snitching. You don't need to, so-and-so and so did this, he did that, he did that. No, uh, she did this, she did that. No, you know, it's some bad things that happen there. You know, everybody should try to get to the bottom of it. You know, get people out of the situation or get a child out of a house or, or get somebody, you know. But you got to be careful because not only can, you know, uh, people go to jail and stuff like that, but you can put that child in harm. You know, somebody might want to do something to the child to get rid of the child so they won't get in trouble, something like that. So, you know, a lot of times I just... Don't even get in people's business. I let God handle that. That's the why the Bible say the battle is not yours. 
it's the Lord. Because you get in it, then people rearrange themselves to try to jump in there to stop whatever going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like the stories I'm writing now, kind of like, you know, like when I was in the military. You know what I'm saying? You go back in the army, you come up with things you did and stuff like that, that, you know, can be a lesson. Like going down a mountain at six o'clock in the morning, wake up at six o'clock in the morning talking about let's go down a mountain that's full of snow. And you know that snow is full of mud. And then all you gotta do is wait till the next day by 12, one o'clock in the evening. Yeah, you gotta wait sometimes, you gotta be patient to go down that mountain because you got a cliff on both sides and ain't nothing but dirt. Ain't no rocks and shit, just dirt. And then when it turn to mud, all you gonna do is slide, especially when it's 30, 40 degrees, you know, uh, 70 grade, you know what I'm saying, down, you know, degrees down, you know what I'm saying. I done that before. And had to get in a lieutenant ass. You know what I'm saying? For getting us to do that shit. I had to prove to him first. <laughs> I ain't try to prove it to him because I could have killed myself and him too and got down my boy. But before I killed myself and my boy, you know what I'm saying? Or whoever that was in the truck with me, it was my boy. Shit, all of them my boy. I don't know if it was Price or uh, uh, Gamble or Malone or who was in the truck with me, but one of them was in the truck with me. And shit, man, I lost grip of that truck, man. Oh, it just started sliding. There wasn't no more grip on the motherfucker. I ain't had no brakes. I ain't had no gas. The control, I couldn't control it. Only thing I could do is kind of get it, go down on the lower the gear a little bit. Real careful on that, because it can slide on the gear. You know, you put it in too low, it's going to go down. Uh, granny gear going to slide your ass off that mountain. So, you know, I had to, and I had that crazy ass lieutenant that talked us in the goddamn going down the motherfucker at six o'clock in the morning when I should have waited and just waited and shit, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. But, you know, I wouldn't, couldn't do that. But then, you know, I could have just not did it and told him I ain't gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? And just dealt with it later. You know, first time would have understood. Talk shit to his ass. But then, um, we lost goddamn grip of the truck, you know what I'm saying? I got, what, eight wheels, you know what I'm saying? I'm on eight wheels, 2,500 gallons of fuel in it, diesel in it, or more gas in it, one of them. And then, so, we go down, so God, man, bless me, with like 10 feet on the other side of his Humvee. At first, he was hogging the road in the middle. But when he seen I had no goddamn brakes, all I know he seen me coming in the rearview mirror. You know what I'm saying? His driver seen me. And then goddamn got over as far as he could to the right. And my big ass truck, and God gave me about eight feet. I kept about two over there. And I tried to keep two or three between me and him. And I slid by his ass. Looking at him, me and Price and him looked at his ass, stupid. Like he was, like shit was on him. Shaming a motherfucker. I said, man, look, 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 look. And if I was low down, I'd have just bumped his ass the right way in the back of his Humvee and slid him off the mountain and got in the middle of that motherfucker and made sure we made it. That's what I should have did, but then you know I'm a godly dude, man. I ain't gonna do no shit like that. But a lot of time, man, it's, 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 it's godly to keep it to yourself. That's why God said, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. But some people just jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that they don't want to see you do get something or nothing like that. Because if you want a truck or something, shit, you need to put it on there and let them know, man. Because the word, what the word say? Anything you ask God in my name, in Jesus' name, and all y'all Jesus, Anything you ask God in the name of Jesus, you gonna get it. Daddy gonna give it to you. Adam gonna give it to you. So, you ain't gotta go through all that really. You do really, cause the banks, they'll sit up there and tell you, 
we still can't buy you no truck. Because they can, but now they can't. Because God took the air they breathe and love and told love and the air they breathe. Fuck up. Fuck up. Like that little tent. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, there, there's a situation, like somebody wants to mess things up for you. Like when it comes to your business, when it comes to whatever it is that you got going on, this is somebody they don't want to see you improve. They don't want to see you do better. They don't want to see whatever it is that God is trying to bless you with, whatever it is God is going to bless you with. This is somebody that will make it harder for you. But you don't have to worry about nobody making it harder for you. You don't have to worry about nobody making I'm going to go now. I ain't going to mess with her no more. You know what I'm saying? You know. But you ain't got to. It ain't. You ain't got to worry about nobody making it hard for you. TDJ, yeah, they made it hard for me for a lot of years. And from 2009 to now, man, we should have had an easy-ass resurrection. But ain't no resurrection easy, man. Ain't no resurrection easy. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that the only thing I, I, I think about is we've been doing this shit so long, you know what I'm saying? It's giving them ideas to write shit. So if they come back, they gonna remember some shit. Everybody gonna remember some shit. That's how come everybody got YouTube pages. You know what I'm saying? But then everybody ain't getting treated fair. You know what I'm saying? YouTube think, you know, they got they can make people scare people by giving them days off for TDJ. Giving it to me for TDJ now. They giving me time out. You know what I'm saying? Give me strikes and warning me if I get too many strikes, I'm be out. How could I be out? And I'm God. I'm the Ad Avery. Hey, I will stop they goddamn hair. And I will tell love I'm sorry. Love them anyway. We'll love them till they get put back into another mama. Stomach from another daddy. Totally different daddy. Totally different mama. Raise them up with some good ass manners the next time. And not no devil ass manners. Killing, stealing, and destroying, and judging, and accusing. Shit, I don't play that shit. But like I say, don't be scared to talk, man, because these people know what's on your mind anyway. That's how come we protect you. Love protect you. Because something that don't love you, on the way to you, God either heard it in their mind, heard them on the phone. Shit, the closer they get to you, the more fucked up it is, because more people listening. More people watching, you know what I'm saying, on TV or in their mind or, you know, like I said, everybody telepathic. That's what a telephone is. Just been see. Want to build your business but not sure where to start? Try Taylor Brands. It's actually an all-in-one platform that walks you... And somebody feel like they're the right thing, but not to do something to somebody or getting out of horrible partnerships that no longer serve their highest good. Not being um, my side rules, but you're wrong, I'm right. Like, it's something like that that could have been going on here that's causing a, a huge uh, issue where there wasn't supposed to be right? I mean, I understand differences, but not when it is. See what it is. You know, like God say, his, he don't want her. God, in God's heart, and God don't want her. You know, in God's heart, he don't want her. He love everybody regardless, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to kill the wicked. But sometimes the wicked got to go and can't come back no more. You know what I'm saying? But if they are sal sal salvageable, you know what I'm saying, then the Savior going to save them. You know what I'm saying? That's what God really want to do. He really wants them to stop judging and accusing because anytime you kill, steal, destroy, or anything, time you offend anybody, you got to first judge and say you don't like them for some reason or they got something that you can steal from them you know what I'm saying or judge them and accuse them of something that somebody might have lied and said that they did with them and now you got a problem with them because you think they done something with your woman or something or your man or something because somebody said they seen them with them or something and that could be a whole total ass lie but only God know that. That's why I say, 
You know, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. Oh, the God know that. Oh, I say, man. You see a lot of pictures of these rappers and these little stars and stuff. And it's like somebody just, all they like, got in the camera. You know what I'm saying? Taking poses. No, man, that's God, man, the air you breathe. Hey, man, I put my glory on all the angels' faces. And that's a clue in the Bible. It's a, it's a scripture, but it's just a, a clue. When you pass it up and you see, you know, the Bible say, you know, that God put his glory on all, what Jesus say, the glory of God is on all the angels' faces. And that tell you that we angels and not just men and women. Man stand for mighty angel now. Not nobody that can be told and lied to and said, man is made a little lower than angels. It's in the Bible, that's that, but they a goddamn lie. That's a motherfucking lie. And then, you know, like, it please God to bruise Jesus. Man, you a goddamn lie. Say that, but you know God ain't, ain't, ain't say no shit like that. And when he strike, we struck him with, we heal. We here to celebrate the red. We here to celebrate the blood. And then you go read the Bible and God say, don't fuck with no blood. Eh? Don't eat no blood. And they go to church and they talk about, take this cup. You know what I'm mean? saying? Drink it in his foot. The blood of Jesus, man. And, and then, you know, talking about it. the son of man had to be lifted up just like Moses had to lift up the serpent in the wilderness. The son of man, we're going to lift him up as the beast. You know what I'm saying? As a serpent. When you weren't even supposed to think of that. Think about that man dying as no sinner and all y'all sins put on him with the stripes and the persecution, the crucifixion you did him with. You know what I'm saying? When you're supposed to really thought of that ass, I know they're going to reverence my son. Just like when God sent them servants to get some of his uh, inheritance, I mean, some of his harvest. You know what I'm saying? They kill some, they beat some, you know what I'm saying? And then he said, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm going to send my son. And I know they going to reverence my son. But what them men, do, them husband men, what they do that he lent out the land? Do? Look, that's the heir, like TDJ. Let us seize him and kill him and steal his inheritance, like TDJ. Teaching the whole community that shit in the front of all the nations of the world that's supposed to support the United States if we went to war or something. But then everybody looking at this shit now, like they know if a war break out, it's somebody government want to steal, kill, and destroy, to steal, kill, and destroy, or to steal resources like fuel and gas and all that. That's the only time war going to break out. And that's why God say, in the future, we're not going to even learn war no more. You know what I'm saying? The children of God are not going to even learn war no more. We don't need to teach no kid how to go out there and kill, steal, and destroy for somebody else's shit. Covered in what other people got. That's what COVID virus is. Covered in what other people got. Like white men and racism and shit like that. That's how they come they got white. It wasn't because of DNA. Not because of making love. It was because they were judging and accusing. Like Miriam. How she turned white. Judging and accusing Moses. How did the servant of Elisha get uh, a Elisha, his servant, had to take the the, 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 the the leprous that Naaman was healed from when he was sent back to his original color into that baby like flesh again golden brown and then he was healed he was so happy he knew that was the only God Elisha had the only God that he was going to worship but then got down, he got lied to on the way back out <laughs> you know, after he tried to give money to Elisha, and Elisha wouldn't take it. And next thing you know, the servant of Elisha sneak off, you know what I'm saying, and go have his friends to go somewhere and hide out, you know what I'm saying, 
and then he went and lied to name it and told him, my 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 uh, Alicia, you know, say, you know, my boss say, my my boss say, you know, take the stuff y'all he didn't he told you he wasn't gonna take, take it and give it to the men up there. That you gonna see some men on the road up there and give that that arraignment and the clothes and the money to him, to them. And then when the servant got back, you know what I'm saying? When the servant got back to Alicia, Alicia knew what he had done. Cause he went with him in the spirit. He was with him in the spirit and he told him, did not my heart go with you? You know when you went and lied to them people and lied to name. And then he told him, he said, that curse, that name just got blessed and healed from. It's on you now. So he received the lepers. That's how white people turn white. Judging and accused. You know, man, I did. You know, people don't know, but sin ain't smoking, drinking, like this, liquor. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, you do it responsibly. Ain't drinking and driving, having no rents. God ain't gonna let you do that if you're a godly person. But if you're an ungodly person, like them people that be judging, accusing racism and all that shit, prejudice, then this will kill you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't because you was drinking, though. They would say somebody that's a, 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 a false prophet or tell you it was because they were drunk. But it's because they had in their heart to kill them and destroy or lie. <clears throat> and it, the only sin is judging and accusing. You know what I'm saying? And the only way you can judge him to do anything, to kill, steal, destroy, lie, or commit adultery. Ain't nothing wrong with fornication. Fornication is really adultery. That's all fornication is, adultery. Because fornication ain't no such thing. We make love. Ain't no such thing as sex without being married because God practice and teach Christ's people to practice. Not getting married. On paperwork, now, on paperwork, now you gotta be married in love. Love brings us all in. That's how, you know, we ain't gay people, but everybody, man, man, woman, woman, everybody married to God. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's cool. Everybody married in love. We all love. God is love. And that's why Jesus said, keep them through your name, God, the ones that you have given me. So they may be one as we are. So they may be one as we are. One God. And then at the end it said, so, so God can be one. You know what I'm saying? I think that's verse 28 or first Corinthians 15. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I ain't trying to brag, boast, or nothing like that. But really real. Fake is fake. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing sin is, is judging and accusing. Because you got to judge and accuse before you can kill, steal, and destroy and lie. Mm-hmm. In adultery, you got to judge somebody to do that. Or offend anything. To offend anybody, anything. You got to first judge and accuse. That's the sin. That's why the Bible say, I didn't come to call the righteous. I come to lead sinners to repentance. To lead sinners to repentance simply means repentance means to feel godly sorry for your sins. That's why the Bible say, tell them their transgressions, tell them what they done wrong, tell them they sins. And that that other girl was talking about keep keep stuff to yourself. How you gonna keep this to yourself when you know they sinners and when God alarm you and tell you? Are you here to horn and you here to warning? And you don't you the watchman or the watchwoman and you don't go and tell it. Then that blood on your hand when they get punched. And it ain't gonna be on my hands and I ain't no snitch. I love y'all and they know. It. Whatever this is. I feel like whatever this difference is, it it was a prickly situation, that's what I'm hearing. Diplomatic fight, I just heard. So somebody's not willing to go back and forth on some old crap. 
Mm. Just because y'all don't agree upon it. It's blue. You know, well, it's light blue. Well, I know, it was dark. It looks dark blue to me, you know. That energy. <laughs> uh, seeing something. It's like, it is what it is, you know. Hey, it's, at least it's still blue, right? It's like one of them. Like, at least it's the same. We was both bright in the same color, but whatever the case may be. It's like something like that. Somebody's seeing things. Uh, and everybody's like, oh, like what? Yeah, we got rapid improvement. This is gonna bring in some rapid improvement in some way. or discredit something about you, whatever, it's not that. It's like, it's a win-win outcome, like, whoever this is, it is what it is. They were dressed for alchemy here, yeah, sweet memories. Yep. Wow, dressed for alchemy here, to release something here. It's going to bring sweet memories here. Somebody's been completely committed to changing something here. Powerful energy shift is happening. Somebody thought this was a good idea to have a rebirth. It's like, I think this would be a good idea to fix something. Little brother, little sister said to marry yourself. So if you and your sisters or brother, family members, friends, friends, whatever, y'all always have differences about something. It's like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I get it. Man. Like, I see something is, oh, it was fear that was making me feel this way about something. So instead of somebody thinking something, they're feeling it like, damn, so... I only wanted you to agree with me because I was afraid that if you didn't agree, then everybody else would. Da -da -da -da. It's like something weird like that. Somebody like, all right, well, now I'm going to let my fears dissolve. You know, I'm going to really unleash my kind self and see how that works for me. See how that works. You know, um, whatever differences you had with somebody is like, all right, touche. Like, hands up. You know, uh, <laughs> Emotions is running high because of this. somebody seeing the bigger picture and they're making adjustments. Okay, this is something like this. Like with all this exposure, whatever this is, something that needed to be seen was revealed, and this propelled something. It it ushered in a new way of thinking, a new era. A new something. With that, you know the word of God say it. God say it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do all things new. You know I ain't never promise you no money. You know what I'm saying? And I said I was gonna get rid of all evil. I ain't gonna say deliver, cause deliver to me mean unalive somebody. Take their life away. D means to. Get rid of it. Don't do it. Like deserve. That's deserve. Like desire. That's desire. Un take somebody's crown. Take them off the throne. De desire. You know what I'm saying? And then jump in there and lie on a nigga. And lie in the nigga face and say, God forbid. And only the devil himself know that Lord forbid when you trying to say we not going to allow it but the devil in his heart you know what I'm saying saying Lord forbid meaning we coming in anyway cause God for it and God is bidding us in and I say 
devil. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could have shot you the finger, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to let people live. Sometimes that's impossible. But sometimes you can't. Because really, the devil ain't got nothing. Nothing. He gotta borrow your soul and spirit to do whatever he can against anybody. And when that happened, then you told God that you didn't give a fuck about us no more. You didn't want to work for us no more. You wanted to go where the devil was supposed to go forever. And you lose that soul and you lose that spirit that you let him borrow. That's God's word. I'm here to save you. It ain't, I don't get nothing out of killing the wicked and destroying the wicked. I get something out of saving and keeping them from evil and let them turn and repent, feel sorry and say I'm sorry. Like right now, you can't even go up to a kid and if a kid hit another kid, you can't make him say he's sorry. Because of y'all, it's in the spirit, not the flesh. Circus pad, the snake princess, and the circus pad for power. That is very positive. It's like, well, let me taste the apple. Like, right? Because that knowledge, something about knowledge. Somebody is journey to gain more knowledge, but in a positive way. Like, how can I heal my heart? You know, so that I can. And that's beautiful. That's what we want for all of our loved ones, whether we agree with them or not. That's what we desire. For them to heal every one of us, whether they're in your lives or not, and it, whether is they around you healing or not, at the end of the day, it's still an energetic thing. A lot of things on this planet is connected with energy and people. The people are connected. You know, like like for instance, you know, I see preachers out there, organizations out there that call themselves Muslim or preachers or, or what is it, US, UCI or UCIC or whatever, you know, I don't know. I ain't judging y'all and accusing y'all. I'm just telling you. Some of y'all are possessed by the devil and, and giving the devil your soul. Because it really don't make no sense to say or uh, have a title or wonder in your own heart if Jesus was white. That's why I left that as it was. Just leave that alone, daddy. Let it stay that Jesus was a white man. Let it stay. It really don't matter because I know I'm a black man. And I know I got white grandkids. And I know they got white daddy. And I know how they became white. And, and if them black preachers don't know that, they not of God. And that's a stupid ass question they ask. That's Bible and verse. We see each other energetically. And I feel like this is definitely like a deep bond or families or loved ones. Somebody's close to y'all. And it's a trickle down effect. Okay? I'm feeling some sort of trickle down effect. I don't know. But it's a good thing. It's not bad like, at all. I don't feel that it's bad. Yeah, they can be realizing somebody was all in their feelings. These people that are stuck in the past is really in their feelings. You know, if, if the Bible say, you know what I'm saying, I didn't come to call the righteous. I just come to lead sinners to repentance. If you understood that, anybody can be Jesus. And then if I said, um, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but receive everlasting life. You know what I'm saying? If they believe in him, receive him. You know what I'm saying? Then you turn into a Christian. You turn into Christ. Like, like I say, the, those that are Christ, I come for those that are Christ at my coming. Everybody's Jesus to me. I ain't never said no in the name of. I think I did say it in the beginning. But when I learned 
and I had to heal my daughter when she was gonna be walking around, not walking, uh, using a brace all her life, because she come out the womb and her knee was folded the wrong way. I had to know what I'm doing. And instead of saying in the name of Jesus, I couldn't be fake, hell no, not artificial. I had to be real. I had to say, this Jesus, I know you said I gotta come to you in, in, in this name of your son. So shit, I, I'm not just only in the name of shit. This Jesus, daddy. This Jesus. So when you know you God, you have no problem. You have no problem getting shit. That Ford dealership gotta make that trip. So I see anything you ask, ask G, you gonna receive. If you wanna argue with him over, tell him to call Bill Winston and get that scripture Bill Winston took to the bank. So he can own the bank and them all. <laughs> to put the church in and the bank teller machines in. And lean <laughs> and expect money back. <laughs> and still kill and destroy people too. That's a damn shame. I said, don't become no usury. I ain't never said nothing about non-profit. <laughs> I just said don't come and use it and add interest <laughs> and loans <laughs> and all the art and, and, and then you know y'all not fair, man. You know, I don't even want y'all white people to get mad or Jews to get mad at us when I tell the truth and, and let you know y'all pay y'all white people different than y'all pay y'all black people. You know what I'm saying? And, and y'all take up for your good old boys before you would a black man. Same as T.D. Jason and when they get rich, they look down on people that ain't. The poor needy ain't never had a chance against y'all ass. And I told you, that's who you were supposed to be catering to, poor needy. Because your life is a projection of the energy you put out. That's why you had the level ups. That's why your life leveled up because of the energy you put out. Once again, they're realizing, oh, energy matters. Oh, how I view something really matters. Like how I'm going to live my life. I want to live a peaceful life. I want to live an abundant life too. And they deserve it. I don't give a darn what they did to you. I don't care how much fights y'all got in, how they disagree with you. None of that matters. Like, if you're harping on that, you need more healing. It don't matter what they did. At the end of the day, everybody deserves to meet. Like when I finally, when I finally come out my motherfucking house and go to the bank, or when I finally get the nerve, cause I don't want to embarrass nobody and I don't want heaven to ever be embarrassed again or shame again by no non manner having, non manners having white person or black person or whoever. And they speaking for T.D. Jakes, devilish ass, demonic, satanic ass, and say, we still can't buy you no truck. And that's supposed to be the bank. And we ain't supposed to be buying and selling or sacrificing a motherfucking thing. <laughs> we inherit all things. And that ain't no money. We servants. God a servant. His sons and daughters are servants. The children of God are servants for y'all. Not your goddamn flunkies. Rich people, that's how come you ain't got no money no more. And all your power gone. And you can't call on no non-power, non-life-having ass devil. You can't. And he ain't mad no more. Because he living. He still got a chance. Like you snuck in this last time, you just can brag on him. But I saw you. <laughs> I saw you. I was in the army with you. Nine years older than me. That was the same dude I know. In the spirit and the spirit. Personally, I don't care. Everybody deserves that healing. Everybody deserves that level up. Everybody. I don't care how many times they fell. How many times something happened. That's why I'm, that's why I'm ever select. That's why I ain't gonna pay attention to that woman saying, you know what I'm saying, mind your own business. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the devil. That only person gonna tell you to mind your own business when you're doing good is the devil. <laughs> that don't want you to do good. They can act like they can even tell you somebody else out there don't want you to have, have nothing. But they tell you cause they don't want you to have nothing. That's why they title like this. I wouldn't have no title like this. I wouldn't even teach that. 
Let me tell you to keep something to yourself. Unless I was teaching it to you in full and telling you why. That really comes with just being God. That's the secrets of God. Keep it to yourself. So, yeah, yeah. keep him out of jail. But you letting God handle it. And that battle ain't ours. That's the Lord. Shit you can't see. Shit you don't know. Shit talk behind your back. Only God know that. We don't. And God ain't never let me directly hear nobody say it. But I got kids, 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 and kids, kids, kids. That's gonna hear you, PDJ, when you bad mouth you in front of one of my kids or grandkids. And Lord forbid, TDJ, if you told one of them to do something to me. <laughs> That's you kicking yourself out of heaven, telling me you don't give a fuck about the air you breathe and you don't love shit. So you ain't they, God. They know All that. God. Like, I gotta heal. Somebody is, is facing the fact that they're willing to heal. All right? Somebody thinks it's becoming too much to bear for somebody and they like, I'm tired of fighting you. The change now that I know what I need to know, I'ma just flow and let my fears dissolve and really start looking at my shadow self and really start healing. Yep, yeah, secrets is revealed. Somebody can be impressed. Access is denied here. Somebody could be getting arrested because you could have blocked communication. If somebody blocked communication, they no longer work with somebody. They don't make feelings that some why somebody got arrested. They blocked communication with somebody. Okay. You know, copycat. No more copycat. In the reverse. Yeah, balance. So something is being balanced out. A situation needs more balance, not anymore. In the reverse. Uh, somebody's blocking the communication here of somebody that was a copycat. Because the situation needed more balance. So, yeah. Something is being balanced out here behind the scenes. Somebody wants to apologize for partnering up with someone. I feel like behind the scenes, somebody is clearing their space. And they sorry for working together with someone against somebody that was in their life purpose. They could do that, right? Somebody is no longer dealing with the copycat so that their life can be balanced out. Also, somebody is not mocking everything you do anymore because they are desiring and balanced because maybe that's why their life was an uproar because they were codependent on an ending for you. Maybe they were codependent on something, but they're ending some sort of magic that they were doing. A lot of people was confused around New Year's how somebody seems somebody was just being childish trying to manifest whatever they manifest about how they see it. So that can like like you can say my grandson in center and my granddaughter up here upstairs. You can you can look at that and say I'm a day old in them kids. Huh? I'm just bullshitting, man. I don't know. But you can say I'm a day old in them kids. Like a day is a, a thousand years to God and, and, and a thousand years is a day to God. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me get out this thing. I'm just sitting up.